Hello everybody and welcome to this new tutorial. In this series we're going to be building on some of the skills that we learned in the previous series, uh, the previous Dreamweaver tutorial series. We're going to be building an entire website but this time we're going to be building what's called a responsive website. And a responsive website is one that can be compatible with all devices, be it a handheld device like a tablet, a mobile phone or a desktop device like a laptop or a desktop computer. So our website is going to look good on all four of those, or all of those devices or platforms, whatever way you want to call them. Now it's not essential that you need Dreamweaver for this. You can do this in any HTML editing software, be it Notepad++. Uh, you can even design it in Word if you want, it's up to yourself. But for the purposes of this tutorial I'm going to be working in Dreamweaver because it's something that I'm most comfortable with. Um, but just to give you an idea of what we're going to be building, this is the website that we're going to be building. Now you're looking at the desktop version of it here, um, but in order to view the mobile version of it I've resized it. What I've done is I've all we have to do is resize it here and you see exactly what happens. It becomes a mobile version of the website. What happens is the navigation shrinks down so that it's more accessible or easier to use with, your, with the touch of your finger. The panels that contain the text and the images all shrink down. The images come up to 100% size rather, rather than being off to the right as they are here. So again if I minimize that, or sorry, make it smaller, um, you can see the text is increased in size as well to make it more visible or more easier to read on a handheld device. Now what's happened here as well as our sidebar has gotten thrown down underneath. Uh, if we go back full screen again you can see our sidebar is over to the right. But if we go down to the small size screen again what happens is it gets thrown down underneath here and again the text is made bigger in this as well and the images and this just makes it easier for people to view your website on uh, whatever device it is they're looking at and that's kind of it's something that you have to consider in this day and age when you're making a website so let's get started <laughs> 